Well, one of the things that might happen to you is if somebody says, okay, play me an E major 7 chord, which is a pretty primitive chord, and you'd say, if you haven't been playing very long, you might just play... Um... But that's a really ugly, disgusting, dissonant-sounding chord to me. So you could play another inversion of that, say, which sounds a whole lot nicer. Or instead of playing just an inversion of those notes, you could play groups of notes from that family. By family, I mean the scale in which that chord is part of. For instance, you could play uh, some of these chords, which are all based on the E major scale. So if somebody said to you, well, okay, we're going to play a D minor chord now, a D minor 7, D minor 11 chord, um, what, what would you play? You know, so in, again, instead of just playing an inversion of a chord, which you could do a nice inversion, say, um, there are lots of other things that you could do as well based on just the notes in the scale. So I'm just going to give you a few examples of those. <laughs> 